Her compass rose, sometimes called a windrose, or rose of the winds, is a figure on a compass map, nautical chart, or monument used to display the orientation of the cardinal directions, north, east, south, and west, and their intermediate points. It is also the term for the graduated markings found on the traditional magnetic compass. Today, the idea of a compass rose is found on, or featured in, almost all navigation systems, including nautical charts, non-directional beacons, VHF omnidirectional range systems, global positioning systems, and similar equipment. Compass points. The compass rose is an old design element found on compasses, maps, and even monuments to show cardinal directions and frequently intermediate direction. The rose term arises from the fairly ornate figures used with early compasses. Older sources sometimes use the term compass star or stellar maris to refer to the compass rose. Early forms of the compass rose were known as wind roses. Since no differentiation was made between a directional point and the wind that emanated from the direction. The modern compass rose has eight principal winds. Listed clockwise, these are, although modern compasses use the names of the eight principal directions, older compasses use the traditional Italian eight wind names of medieval origin. Four-point compass roses use only the four basic winds or cardinal directions, with angles of difference at 90 degrees. Eight-point compass roses as the eight principal winds, that is, the four cardinal directions plus the four intercardinal or, or ordinal directions, at angles of difference of 45 degrees. Sixteen-point compass roses are constructed by bisecting the angles of the principal winds to come up with intermediate compass points, known as half winds, at angles of difference of 221 halves of a degree. The names of the half winds are simply combinations of the principal winds to either side, principal then ordinal, e.g. north northeast, east northeast, etc. 32 point compass roses are constructed by bisecting these angles and coming up with quarter winds at 111 quarters of a degree angles of difference. Quarter wind names are constructed with the names X by Y, which can be read as one quarter wind from X toward Y, where X is one of the H principal winds and Y is one of the two adjacent cardinal directions, e.g. north by east is one quarter wind from north towards east, northeast by north is one quarter wind from northeast toward north. Naming all 32 points on the rose is called boxing the compass. The 32-point rose has the uncomfortable number of 111 quarters of a degree between points, but is easily found by halving divisions and may have been easier for those not using a 360 degrees circle. Using gradients, of which there are 400 in a circle, the 16-point rose will have 25 gradients per point. Dot 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 dot. History Linguistic anthropological studies have shown that most human communities have four points of cardinal direction. The names given to these directions are usually derived from either locally specific geographic features or from celestial bodies or from atmospheric features. Most mobile populations tend to adopt sunrise and sunset for east and west and the direction from where different winds blow to denote north and south. South. Classical compass rose The ancient Greeks originally maintained distinct and separate systems of points and winds. The four Greek cardinal points were based on celestial bodies and used for orientation. The four Greek winds were confined to meteorology. Nonetheless, both systems were gradually conflated, and wind names came to eventually denote cardinal directions as well. In his meteorological studies, Aristotle identified ten distinct winds, two north-south winds and four sets of east-west winds blowing from different latitudes, the Arctic Circle, the summer solstice horizon, the equinox and the winter solstice. However, Aristotle's system was asymmetric. 
to restore balance, two Mosthenes of Rhodes added two more winds to produce the classical twelve wind rows, and began using the winds to denote geographical direction in navigation. Eratosthenes deducted two winds from Aristotle's system to produce the classical eight wind rows. The Romans adopted the Greek twelve wind system and replaced its names with Latin equivalents, e. G. Septetrio, Subsolanus, Auster, Favonius, etc. Uniquely, Vitruvius came up with a 24 wind rose. According to the chronicler Einhard, the Frankish king Charlemagne himself came up with his own names for the classical 12 winds. He named the four cardinal winds on the roots Nord, Ost, Swind, and the West. Intermediate winds were constructed as simple compound names of these four. These Carolingian names are the source of the modern compass point names found in nearly all modern West European languages. The following table gives a rough equivalence of the classical 12 wind rows with the modern compass directions. Sidereal compass rows. The sidereal compass rows demarcates the compass points by the position of stars in the night sky, rather than winds. Arab navigators in the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean, who depended on celestial navigation, were using a 32 point sidereal compass rows before the end of the 10th century. In the Northern Hemisphere, the steady pole star was used for the NS axis. The less steady Southern Cross Atida for the Southern Hemisphere, as the Southern Pole Star Sigma Octantis is too dim to be easily seen from Earth with the naked eye. The other 30 points on the sidereal rows were determined by the rising and setting positions of 15 bright stars. Reading from north to south, in the rising and setting positions, these are, the western half of the rows would be the same stars in the setting position. The true position of these stars is only approximate to the theoretical equidistant rums on the sidereal compass. Stars with the same declination formed a linear constellation, or Kavenga to provide direction as the night progressed. A similar sidereal compass was used by Polynesian and Micronesian navigators in the Pacific Ocean. Although different stars were used in a number of cases, clustering around the east-west axis. Mariner's compass rose. In Europe, the classical 12-wind system continued to be taught in academic settings during the medieval era, but seafarers in the Mediterranean came up with their own distinct 8-wind system. The mariners used names derived from the Mediterranean lingua franca, the Italian tinged patois among medieval sailors, composed principally of Ligurian, mixed with Venetian, Sicilian, Provençal, Catalan, Greek and Arabic terms from around the Mediterranean basin, Tramontana, Greco, Levante, Sirocco, Ostro, Libecho, Ponomte, Maestro. The exact origin of the Mariner's Eight Wind Rose is obscure. Only two of its point names have classical etymologies. The rest of the names seem to be autonomously derived. Two Arabic words stand out, Sirocco from al Shark and the variant Garbino from al -Garb. This suggests the Mariner's Rose was probably acquired by southern Italian seafarers not from the classical Roman ancestors, but rather from Norman Sicily in the 11th to 12th centuries. The coasts of the Maghreb and Mishrik are SW and Shea of Sicily respectively. The Greco reflects the position of Byzantine held Calabria Apulia to the northeast of Arab Sicily, while the Maestro is a reference to the Mistral wind that blows from the southern French coast towards northwest Sicily. The 32-point compass used for navigation in the Mediterranean by the 14th century had increments of 111 quarters of a degree between points. Only the eight principal winds were given special names. The eight half winds just combine the names of the two principal winds, e. 
G. Greco Tramontana for N and E, Greco Levante for in, and so on. Quod the winds were more cumbersomely phrased with the closest principal wind named first and the next closest principal wind second. E. G. Quarto di Tramontana verso Greco, and Quarto di Greco verso Tramontana. Boxing the compass was expected of all medieval mariners. Depiction on nautical charts. In the earliest medieval Portaland charts of the 14th century, compass roses were depicted as mere collections of color-coded compass rum lines. Black for the eight main winds, green for the eight half winds and red for the sixteen quarter winds. The average Portaland chart had sixteen such roses, spaced out equally around the circumference of a large implicit circle. The cartographer Cresc Sabraham of Majorca in his Catalan Atlas of 1375 was the first to draw an ornate compass rose on a map. By the end of the 15th century, Portuguese cartographers began drawing multiple ornate compass roses throughout the chart, one upon each of the 16 circumference roses. The points on a compass rose were frequently labeled by the initial letters of the mariner's principal winds. However, from the outset the custom also began to distinguish the north from the other points by a specific visual marker. Medieval Italian cartographers typically used a simple arrowhead or circumflex hatted T to designate the north, while the Majorcan cartographic school typically used a stylized pearl star for its north mark. The use of the fleur de lis as north mark was introduced by Pedro Renel and quickly became customary in compass roses. Old compass roses also often used a Christian cross at Levante, indicating the direction of Jerusalem from the point of view of the Mediterranean Sea. The twelve classical winds were also sometimes depicted on Portland charts, albeit not on a compass rose, but rather separately on small discs of coins on the edges of the map. The compass rose was also depicted on traverse boards used on board ships to record headings sailed at set time intervals. Dot 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 dot. Modern depictions. The contemporary compass rose appears as two rings, one smaller and set inside the other. The outside ring denotes true cardinal directions while the smaller inside ring denotes magnetic cardinal directions. True north refers to the geographical location of the North Pole while magnetic north refers to the direction towards which the North Pole of a magnetic object will point. The angular difference between true and magnetic north is called variation, which varies depending on location. The angular difference between magnetic heading and compass heading is called deviation, which varies by vessel and its heading. Usage NATO symbol uses four-point rows. Outward Bound uses the compass rose as the logo for various schools around the world. An eight-point compass rose was the logo of the rig, the largest airline in Brazil for many decades until its bankruptcy in 2006. An eight-point compass rose is a prominent feature in the logo of the Seattle Mariners Major League Baseball Club. Hong Kong Correctional Services Crest uses four-point star. The compass rose is used as the symbol of the worldwide Anglican Communion of Churches. A 16-point compass rose was IBM's logo for the system 360 product line. A 16-point compass rose is the official logo of the Spanish National University of Distance Education. A 16-point compass rose is present on the seal and the flag of the Central Intelligence Agency of the Federal Government of the United States. Dot. In popular culture, HMS Compass Rose is a fictional Royal Navy Flower Class Corvette in the novel The Cruel Sea. In the adventure game Beyond Zork, a compass rose is a flower that can control the direction of the wind. The compass rose is the name of a significant tavern in Mercedes Lackey's Valdemar fantasy novels. The compass rose is a 1982 collection of short stories by Ursula K. Le Guin. 
In Diablo 3 the Compass Rose is a legendary set item. In Marvel Comics, Captain Marvel and his successors, including most recently Carol Danvers, wear the Halastar emblazoned upon the chests. This star takes the form of an eight-pointed compass rose, with four major and four minor points. Edith Patu's 2003 novel East uses the eight-pointed compass rose as a recurring motif, both as a metaphor that one's life can go in many different directions and relate to the protagonist's arduous physical journey. The protagonist, Rose, is named for it by her map maker father, who creates a new Compass Rose design for each of his children. Compass Rose, a song by the Japanese boy band Hey, Say, Jump in their album S3ART, written by Hikaru Yautoma.